VirtualBox is one of the best and free virtual machine applications out there. But it's even more useful if your virtual computer can integrate more tightly with the host computer. While you can network the host and guest computer together pretty easily, most people probably just want a simple way to share folders between the host and guest OS in VirtualBox. The good news is that this is also quite easy to do. This guide assumes that you have a working virtual machine ready to go in VirtualBox. Before you can make shared folders work, you need to install guest additions on the virtual machine in question. This works by putting a virtual CD into the virtual machine's imaginary CD drive. We are using Ubuntu Linux here, but VirtualBox will automatically detect which additions are right for the guest operating system. All you have to do is run your virtual machine and then click Devices and then Insert Guest Edition CD Image. In our case, the CD autoplayed and the additions installed without issue. We restarted our virtual machine just in case, but it isn't strictly necessary. With guest editions installed, you're ready to add a shared folder to your virtual machine. VirtualBox presents a shared folder on the host computer as a shared network drive or as a special extension of the file system to the guest computer's operating system. So you'll want to designate that folder on the bare metal computer for it to use. You can assign different shared folders to each virtual machine guest. It can be a folder that already exists or it can be one you created especially for this purpose. In either case, once you've decided which folder you want to share with the virtual machine, we have to select and mount it. We've created a folder with a test text file inside for demonstration purposes. You can add the shared folder to your virtual machine with it running or stopped. We're going to mount the shared folder with our Ubuntu machine running. Click on the devices menu and then shared folders, shared folder settings. In this settings menu, click the blue icon to add a new shared folder. Select the folder path drop down and choose other. Choose the folder you want to share and click select folder. Now, select Auto Mount and then click OK. Then, click OK again. You may have to look for it in your operating system network drive list or in the File System Explorer. To remove the shared folder, simply go back to the same window you added it in the first place and remove it from the list. While the folder is shared, you can basically use it as any other mounted disk or drive. See you next time.